Welcome back to Kingdom 360 with your host, the Grand Inquisitor Zane Venturi. Now, today's topic we're going to be talking about is why should we be healthy? Why should we even bother about anything to do with being healthy? Uh, so we're going to just have a little um, conversation about this and uh, see where it leads us. Now, the whole thing about um, health is not just about going to the gym and just eating good. There is a bigger and wider spectrum that we need to explore when it comes to being healthy. Now, if we look at this chart, um, we can look at, we can start off, if you want to be healthy, you've got to start off with healthy thinking. So what exactly is healthy thinking? Healthy thinking is, no matter what the situation is, no matter what the scenario is, we choose which is the healthiest way to deal with the scenario that's uh, in front of us. So for example, I'll, you know, in brief, say for example, a loved one has left you. Um, what the health, one healthy way of dealing with this situation is to realize that if somebody has walked out of your life that you've cared about a lot, what it does, it affords you the opportunity to meet somebody who can give you uh, a lot more than what that other person has done. Gives you the ability to meet someone who could possibly appreciate you, love you or care for you more. And so when you take that line of thinking, um, it gives you um, emotional life profit. So um, no matter what the situation is, we're, um, approach it from a healthy perspective. If you approach it from a negative perspective, it's not. It's going to give you nothing but pain and other consequences along the line. So looking at everything from a positive angle will give you, or if you can turn it, skew it, skew your perspective to look at it where, you know what, this has happened, but I can see, I can perceive the benefit of what has happened that normally I would look at it from a negative perspective. I can look at it and think, no, you know what? I can see the benefit. I can see how I can benefit from this situation. And it's the same in business. A good business person looks at a scenario and thinks, okay, this is what's happened or this is what's happening in the marketplace. How can I benefit from it? How can I gain financial reward from this situation? And the same thing with life. If no matter what happens, you've got to look at it and think, well, how can I gain from this situation? How can I gain benefit from this situation? And it's not a bad thing to think like that. It is a healthy way to think. So let's start off by saying uh, the true key, one of the true keys to being healthy is first you need to have healthy thinking. No matter what the scenario is or the situation, think of it from a healthy perspective. And then what that will do is it will lead to healthy behaviors. When you behave in a healthy way, you will become a healthy person. Your behavior dictates who you are. If you behave in a healthy way, then you are indeed a healthy person. The knock-on effect of behaving healthy is comes down to also your eating habits. Uh, so if you eat in a healthy, if you're eating healthy and if you're behaving healthy, not just when you go to work or in your social environment, um, you know, when you go to the gym or you're going running or you're an active person and you have a job that's very active, you have healthy behaviors and knock on to uh, healthy eating. And then once you've covered the healthy eating section, you're eating healthy, you're eating what your body requires of it to be healthy, then guess what? It leads to a healthy life. But why would I want a healthy life? What does a healthy life give me? Well, healthy thinking, healthy behaviors, healthy eating, healthy life equals happiness. And it's a healthy form of happiness. I mean, don't get me wrong, I could be happy going down to the pub and drinking excess amounts of alcohol and take drugs and things like that. These things would give me a happiness. However, it's not a healthy way. It's not a long-term form of happiness. It's a short-term form of happiness that will lead to unhealthy consequences.
right? But if you want long-term good outcomes, then having a healthy lifestyle will give you happiness and also well-being. And the thing is, well, how do we start um, becoming healthy in the first place? Well, if we look at the brain here, we have to develop the neocortex and the cerebrum. The more we research on how to be healthy, the more we start thinking healthy, we, the more we develop these two parts of the brain. When you ha meet people who are toxic, they're mainly operating from their limbic system, limbic part of the brain, which is a very, how can I say, old part of the brain. The re some people call it the reptilian brain. Uh, some people uh, would call it the dinosaur brain. Basically, it's a, a prehistoric part of the brain that deals with fight or flight and emotions. When you think, when you make decisions on an emotional level, when you think on an emotional level, that's when problems occur. I mean, if you look at it, the limbic system mostly deals with fear as well. So if you're looking for things from a fearful perspective all the time, I fear this, I fear that, I fear the outcome. I mean, one thing that drives people crazy is they think about things that haven't happened yet. They're anticipating things that to happen that haven't happened yet. And to be honest, if you're thinking about something that hasn't even happened, that is going to drive you crazy. The way I look at it is don't think about something that's going to happen. Create something that's going to be happening. You've got to be a creator. You've got to be a doer. So no matter what happens, it's, I'll give you the example of a surfer. What a surfer does is he doesn't know how the waves are necessarily going to be one day to the next. So when a surfer goes out, he rides the wave. Whatever happens, high waves, low waves, he adapts to it so he can ride the wave. The same thing with life. You've got to ride the wave. No matter what it throws at you, you've got to adapt and deal with it. And in one respect, the surfer's life depends on its, his or her ability to ride that wave and come out alive and the same thing with life you know you, no matter what it, life throws at you you've got to learn and adapt so that you can survive and yet enjoy life and the surfer will enjoy the wave that he or she is riding and hopefully they'll end up going home you know still in one piece and alive uh, of course you know uh, you can have unexpected scenarios that can take place um, and you know whether you're a surfer or whether you're just traveling through life but you know you've got to think deep and be able to take these things into account as they happen and learn and adapt so we've discussed what parts of the brain uh, do what then how do we develop the neocortex and the cerebrum well we basically know what things are healthy and what things aren't and then we build on it we try to investigate our own mind and think well you know let's start getting the neocortex working the cerebrum working by looking at scenarios in our life and making positive and good decisions that are positive for you and people around you do your research read books and so forth and start trying to get these two parts of the brain ignited developing and growing and rely less on the emotional limbic prehistoric part of the brain as i said before toxic people generally use uh, this part of the brain too much and when you do i mean and it gets developed that part gets worked and the other parts of the brain get worked less um, so, and it all comes to down with the quality of your thinking. Good quality thinking, good quality outcomes. You engineer the outcomes. Bad quality of thinking, you engineer bad outcomes. Now, the whole point of this video is we're going to be branching uh, these video off to eating, i.e. health and nutrition. We're going to be covering these things as well. So I thought this was a good way of introducing these topics by covering and having this video about why we should be healthy. 
thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please uh, leave a comment. And hopefully, guys, I'll be seeing you soon.